<clears throat> okay. Well, yesterday evening, I posted a video dealing with the situation in Soundstage 44. It was based on my own best guess about what was going on, uh, based on the evidence that I could see it at that time. And I thought that people were being alarmist about uh, the supposed demolition of the building. I didn't think it was actually going to happen until after Halloween Horror Nights, if it happened at all. Well, that was based on the information I had at the time. You can tell I'm serious because I'm not uh, I'm not talking in any funny accents today. Almost immediately after I posted the video, I came across some rather disturbing new information. Over on Rumors, there's a fellow who calls himself Park Rumors, uh, connected to that site. Uh, not Chad, oddly enough, but somebody else. Nobody seems to know who it is. Even the moderators at Rumors don't seem to know who the guy is. But he's quite adamant about the demolition. And uh, he brought up a very, a very good point. Uh, using mathematics, he showed that the amount of money paid on the permit, which is configured by the amount of square feet of the structure being demolished, indicated that the size of the structure being demolished was the size of the entire Soundstage 44. Thus, it wasn't an outlying building, it wasn't the covered queue area. It is the entire Soundstage 44 that is, in fact, set to be demolished based on this permit. <coughs> Very disturbing. But I still thought, well, that doesn't mean it's going to happen right away. As I had said in the previous video, there are structures standing at Universal today that are already set for demolition and have been for quite some time that have never been torn down or are still being used. I'm talking about structures in Islands of Adventure at the, in the Lost Continent area. And we know about that. But, so I thought, I thought to myself then, well, you know, this could be torn down after Halloween Horror Nights and there'd still be a house in there. At least that's what I told myself. And there was still that photograph uh, I posted a couple of places, and I mentioned it in the comments on the previous video. Uh, that photograph, which was taken, I believe, yesterday morning, of the uh, the covered uh, where the where the wall is around the side where the DeLorean used to be, where there were pallets of building material. And I, you know, it just didn't make any sense to me that they would bring building materials into a site for demolition. You don't use this material to tear something down. You use it to build something, like a house. That was what I thought it was for. Of course, looking at it again, and I received some information, other people raised a point, and, you know, it is true, those building materials do look like boards that could be used to add more fence line, uh, more barriers around the building for demolition, rather than build something inside. So that is a possibility that I hadn't fully considered when I when I talked about it yesterday, so and earlier this morning, which brings me to, which brings me to, the most alarming information that I received this afternoon because after I had posted that photograph and my question about why would you put building materials in if you're going to tear it down, on, uh, on the con on a on a thread over at Horror Night Nightmares forum. I was answered by Armando, who was one of the moderators at Nightmares, uh, that he had very good reason to believe demolition was already happening, and he said he showed a photograph, and the photograph showed a large pile of rubble heaped up next to the side of the building. It clearly indicates they're tearing something up, uh, probably inside the building, although it may possibly be that that is the debris that came up when they dug those holes in the pavement. We know they dug the holes in the pavement. Uh, but it could also be debris from actual demolition occurring in the building. Which means that it seems very likely now that they are indeed tearing down Soundstage 44 in the very near future. Now, it takes 
a year or more to build something like a construction, you know, a, a, big, a major building. This kind of project can take a long time to build something. Uh, not a haunted house, that's, that's a small thing. It can take a couple months. But to build the outlying structure, it could take a year or more. To tear it down, you can do that in a day or two. It doesn't take long to tear a building down. We know that. We've seen that. If they use explosives, it could be gone overnight. Uh, of course, they would have to do that overnight when there are no guests in the park. Uh, I don't know if that's how they'll tear it down, though. Probably not. There's safety issues, I'm sure, and you don't want to damage anything around it, just the building itself. But it can still... I would say that building is going to be down by the end of the week, if not the end of the month. It's not going to be there very long. And then everyone will know for sure if it's happening or not. If that building is still standing at the end of this week, then something else is going on. The other thing is, what does this mean about Halloween Horror Nights? That's the, that's the pressing issue. Because, because they filed seven permits. Now, they didn't file them in May, early May, like they usually do. The past several years, they filed them very early in May, around May 1st. These were filed considerably later, and there were only seven houses. Okay? Oh, there might be a hidden permit. There's never been one before. Since 2008, when we first started finding them, uh, in the first place, when Chad first went down and dug them out, because no one had thought of it before, they always give the exact locations of the houses and where they're going to be and what the houses are. In 2008, it actually said what they were. 2009, they used code words. And then, of course, the laws were bent a little bit because Disney and Universal put pressure on local lawmakers, they still have to put permits out. That has to happen, that's law. But they don't have to describe exactly what is being built uh, by name so that they can build an attraction or a haunted house without giving away exactly what it is. So they don't have to put the name of the house or even a code name anymore since 2010. They've stopped doing that. 2020, 2011, no code names. But we did know where the houses were, how many they're going to be. We've known that all along. Yes, there was apparently a permit putting Scary Tales 3 in Curious George way back in 2008. But before Chad pulled the permits in early May, that was already changed to the parade building. And we saw the new permit at that time. Because when we got the information, it was leaked everywhere. And if I still had the vault available to me, I could bring out the posts that show where each house was going to be in early May, including the parade building. So if they're going to put a new location for a house that was going to be in Soundstage 44, that permit should have already been filed as soon as the demolition was approved. Unless, of course, different departments at Universal are not talking to each other, which is possible. That does happen. But I find it very difficult to believe that people involved in building the haunted house had no idea until today or yesterday that the building they were going to build their haunted house in was going to be torn down in the next week. That makes no sense to me. I'm sure somehow they would have heard something and a permit would have been filed immediately. Unless they have no location to put it in. That's the problem. We have to stop and think. Why were only seven houses? Why were there only permits for seven houses to begin with? Why was the Hercules Xena Soundstage 44 building selected? Think about it. If Soundstage 23 had been available for a haunted house from the get-go, they could have put two houses there, the two houses in 20 and one house in 22, then disaster and the two sprung tents. It had eight houses from day one. There was a reason Soundstage 44 was selected and Soundstage 23 was not used. There is a reason there are only seven houses to begin with. It seems very logical to me that the unavailability of those other sound stages must be the reason. Now we know that of the sound stages, 20, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, right? We know 19 can never be used. It's got Blue Man Group in there. We know 21 has got the wrestling, TNA, whatever it is, is in there. We know Dave has got this 25, okay? That leaves 22, 
23, 24. 20, 22, 23, 24. Those four stages apparently available, except uh, they've usually only used two sound stages every year. And 22, they're using. 20, they're using. Why 20 and not 23? That's the question. There must be something else going on in Soundstage 23 and Soundstage 24. Otherwise, they would have used one of them from the very beginning and had eight houses. Doesn't that seem logical? It seems logical to me. That would explain why they haven't filed a permit immediately. Now, I hope to hell that I'm wrong. I'm not the sort of person who demands that he's always right. I've been accused by some asshole that I always backtrack everything I always say. And he's going to point to this video as backtracking what I said yesterday. Well, fuck him. He's an asshole and a bully and an idiot. Case closed. The fact is, when new information comes up, well, you have to reconsider what is going on, obviously. Any sane person does that. It's not about scoring points about who, and who knew what when. And apparently, A and D has been had the rug pulled out from under them themselves. Because clearly, if, if 44 is being torn down, that's not what they had planned. Because that's not what was on the permits. Now, some of you have pointed out, A and D has said they would never go down to a lower number of houses from what they had before. Which, of course, makes sense. They would not go down from 8 to 7. And surely not from 7 to 6. No, they would not. That doesn't mean that they can. You understand what I'm saying? Although they, more than once in previous years, A&D has had to do things they had not planned on doing. More than once, they have not been able to do things they had planned on doing because somebody else made them. They are not in complete control of Universal Studios. They're only in control of one little thing of designing houses and designing the event itself. They don't control putting on the event. They, they're not operations. They don't control the publicity for the event. They're not marketing. They might work together with those, but there are different departments involved. And above all, there are departments that call the shots. Clearly, they're not in complete control of what's going on. I am absolutely positive that if A and D had their own way and could do whatever they wanted and do it the way they wanted it originally, that there would be eight houses. I don't think it was their idea to go to seven houses. I don't think if we do go to six houses, that would be their idea either. Just like they had also said they didn't want to do movie houses. They said that from 2010, after Rip from the Silver Scream, is that's the last time we're going to do that. Well, remember last year they did the thing because somebody else called the shots and said, we're doing a thing house. It doesn't matter. We are doing a thing house, okay? Someone else is calling the shots this year, obviously. Obviously. In more ways than one. And so they can't do everything that they had said they wanted to do. That's just life. So that's why I'm really concerned now. I am really honestly concerned. If there's going to be a seventh house, there needs to be a permit filed immediately. Now, I urge who, those people who know how to do this stuff, uh, you know, I, I've tried to go on some of those websites and I get really confused, but apparently there are people who are really good at this, and I know two or three of them over at that rumors are really good at this, who can pull up the permits and look and find all the little detailed information about what different rooms that sometimes pops up on the permits. And I urge them to be eagle-eyed, I'm sure they already are, but to be eagle-eyed looking for a new permit every single day. I mean, because it has to come out immediately. This is half, it's more than halfway through June, folks. Okay, the permits have been, were filed later than usual. They're normally filed around the 1st of May. They came out later, the time that they have to build. They're currently building all the other houses. There's, there's work going on in the sound stages, work in the disaster queue. We can see the building a barn in there. Uh, there's work going on in, in, the, uh, in the sprung tents. It's all happening. So they need, if they're going to have another house, it has to be start, they have to start building it now. They have to have the permit now in order to get a house. Otherwise, it's going to be a mess trying to get this house 
built-in time. The construction will be rushed. There will be all kinds of problems because there's all sorts of other issues involved in building a house. It has to go through safety inspections to make sure it's, it's, it's safe for the, for the characters and, and the guests. There's all kinds of other things, bureaucratic crap that they have to go through step by step. And that takes time. And they have to get this going immediately or it's not going to be a seventh house. And that's my concern. And so if we see this building come down this week, and it looks like it's happening, we may have a six-house event this year. I just want to warn all of you. You know, this is a real concern. Okay? And I really hope, I really hope I'm off. I really hope somehow, amazingly, either the building's not going to be demolished, and there'll be a house in there after all, or somehow they filed a permit, and it hasn't come through on the website yet, but it'll come up in the next day or so, and they've already started construction somewhere on property for house number seven. I hope so. Because otherwise, ugh, that's the way it's going to be. And the lines will be really long if there are only six houses. Okay, I've gone past 16 minutes. I hope this loads.